I bring in all the wishes and greetings from Speed Medical Institute Dr. to Dr. Rudra for scoring Thank AML you. and CML rank 1 and DM clinical hematology. Congratulations to you. Thank you very much, sir. So, can we know your brief background history from where you started till date? Uh, sir, I started my MBBS from Odisha, that is SC Medical College. Uh, then in 2020 January, I joined uh, PGIS DM Internal Medicine, MD Internal Medicine. And now I am continuing my MD and it will go until 31st December and then okay. my MD will be complete. So still let to complete? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, exam is over. Now one month duty is there until 31st December. Very nice, very nice. Why uh, interest towards uh, clinical hematology? Any specific reason uh, you are fascinated for this specialty? Yeah. Yes, sir. So during my second sem itself uh, of MD, I posted in the private ward of PGI, and in that ward there are more many acute leuk patients. So I got a lot of exposure in that field, and I get to know that uh, people. This is not about only diagnosis; it's the journey ahead of diagnosis uh, that is very tough for the uh, acute leuk patients, and that brings me some interest in this field. Very nice, wonderful, doctor. Now, can you share how did you prepare? When did you start your preparation? And uh, what was the journey? And how were you able to achieve this rank? It, from the very beginning, it was very clear. Like from my third semester, I was uh, um, I was in the uh, thing of that I would take the hematology DM only. But the uh, two preparation started when uh, in my peep sem when I joined Speed in January. After that, also there are very many my major posting was there. So and thesis was also there. So until June, uh, the preparation was not in that in that way that should be. But uh, after the serious preparation started, I started serious preparation after uh, July and August. What did you prepare? How did you prepare? And sir, both I have to prepare for both the MD examination because in PGI it is uh, a very robust system of a final MD examination. We used to give four days in a week for Harrison and uh, for my MD preparation, MD final exam preparation, and three days. For hematology, it's very simple. Just four plus three, and uh, on, in those three days, I used to read uh, American Society of Hematology's uh, cell plasma program. There's a book I used to read that, and sometimes Hope Grant, and also the speed videos, uh, those Kathik such videos for lab, those uh, lab things that we never ex- get exposed in our MD. Those peculiar function and all the pre analytics that also helped me a lot. So, were you able to watch all the videos in the app? Uh, no, sir. Honestly, not all the videos. Uh, but I choose uh, those videos that I need uh, some clarification or some uh, understanding that uh, I choose the videos. Not all the videos. So, you are able to attend all the mock exams? Did you attend all the mock exams? Yes, yes. I gave all the mock, ex- uh, mock exams, especially the INASS and AMS examinations. Not that need SS uh, exams I have not given, but all others. So your primary preparation was in, uh, in ESS? Yes. Great. So what is the message that you want to give to students who are aspiring for uh, DM hematology? For the actually DM hematology, if you are not exposed to so many cases of hematology, it is very confusing. Sometimes it's uh, so many trials, so many options in treatment. Actually, yeah, the diagnosis part is not that, uh, that is easy, but the management part is very confusing in all the uh, hematological diseases. So for that, you have to read the book along with watching the videos and have a clear-cut uh, imagination that uh, if a patient come with a acute leak, then how I will treat this patient, how, what will be the prognosis I will tell to the patient, what will be the complications. If you will ask the same questions to yourself, then you will search the answer, definitely. And you will, you will be have a good idea about from starting and for, uh, how I will progress, how I will investigate, how I will prognosticate and how I will manage. That's a very simple thing. Because I face those things in when my patient attended asks me, sir, what will happen? So, uh, how you are going to persist? Then you can do it. Very nice, doctor. Great uh, interacting with you. Great talking to you. Wish you all the best and all the success. And a great career as a in years to come. Keep going. Thank all you, the sir. best to you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.